Hello, it's Kristen with Sales Tax Stuff, and today we are going to go through how to record a payment, uh, a payment of your sales tax obligation that you've made to the state, and you're going to do that in the Sales Tax Center. So let's head on over there. We're going to go to Taxes, Sales Tax. This brings us to our Sales Tax Center, and in here we have uh, this view where we're going to see where we're collecting tax, uh, what our liability is. And down here, I can see that for New Jersey, I actually have an overdue amount. So I never recorded this tax payment to the state, uh, $6.63. So let's go look at and view the tax return. Now, just to be clear, QuickBooks is not going to file the tax return for you. Uh, this is a visual. This is where you go see the information that you need to input on like the state's website. When you're re filing your tax return, you can see your gross sales, non-taxable sales, taxable sales, the tax amount that you owe. You can go and click in here and see your, your full sales tax liability report. Uh, but this is a mechanism where you don't have to go and put the journal entry in like you had to do back in the old manual days. So with automatic sales tax, you have the sales tax center and you can come in here and record your payment in here and it will create the journal entries in the back end for you. So here we are. I'm going to say that I need to record a payment. From here, you can actually do adjustments. I'm not going to go into these in this video, but you can record adjustments as well. So if you get a prepayment discount, if you have to pay penalties and fees, whatever the case may be, this is the area where you do that from. And I'll cover that in a separate video. But today we're just going to record payment. So I'm going to click on this record payment. Uh, my $6.63 is what I've got there. Um, I can choose what bank account it's come from. So we're going to select cash. Um, I just paid it the other day. I can put a memo in if I want, whatever the case, whatever I need to put in. And then I can just click on this record payment. And it has uh, noted that now I've paid my sales tax. So it's not going to show up as overdue uh, and has the information here that it's created the journal entry for in the back end. And now I can go back to the sales tax center and I can see that I have paid this return. Now, again, I manually went to the New Jersey um, Division of Taxation website and filed my return and paid my return. QuickBooks did not do that for me. It is not doing it for me right now. And hopefully at some point in the future, it will do it for me, which would be nice to do everything from here. But for now, um, when it says view tax return, that's again, viewing what your sales tax liability is and then recording your payment for that liability. And now I'll always see this as paid. I don't see anything due. And I see obviously my next month's one is still open. Uh, hasn't The period hasn't closed yet. So I hope that is helpful for you in terms of how to record a payment in the uh, sales tax center in QBO. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you found this helpful. That way you can catch up with me again when I put out a new sales tax video. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.